So in the core side, uh, in the at the end of of the panel here left, we have the final assignment, and here basically is a description of of the final work that you should do. Uh, and basically, uh, a little bit first about the practicalities. So I wish that you would return the final as assignment by the seventh uh, of January. Uh, which is the after the first week week of January, so you have more or less one month time to actually do do this uh, as assignment. Uh, but of course, you can also return it before that deadline, and that's really nice if you do so. Uh, if you manage to do the assignment beforehand, uh, please send us a note so that we can actually already start going through through the uh, the assignment and, the, and your codes because it's like experience from last year it takes quite a lot of effort to go through through them so that would be nice if you do it beforehand but no worry if if you cannot do it beforehand uh, the creating so about the creating of the course so how the how your grade will come is that half of the uh, grade is based on the exercises that you have done and half of the grade uh, is from the, the this final assignment that you will do. Uh, like last year more or less everybody like the exercises were kind of upgrading the, the last the final assignment and I assume that you have done good work uh, also this this year so so basically that's how it goes and how the creating of the exercises is done so basically uh, the assistants have been giving you points from each exercise and, and then there is certain uh, so basically if you want five from one exercise you need to have 90% of the points and then it goes 10% by time lower uh, but I think usually people get quite good uh, points out of the exercises. Uh, and then the final project is also created by zero to five scale. And there are various things that will be basically uh, assessed from your work. Um, basically what you should do in the final assignment is this kind of uh, well GIS tool to basically analyze uh, accessibility in, in Helsinki region. So there is a lot of description in the at the end of of this tool called AccessBiz, and and basically you should the tool there are kind of description what the tool should do. So this kind of uh, uh, requirement specification, and then you should kind of try to go through them and try to implement all the uh, different uh, kind of features that the tool tool has. So the basic idea is to kind of use the uh, travel time matrix data from Helsinki region and, and basically do uh, be able to process those kind of create maps out of those matrices and do simple kind of analytical um, simple analysis based on, on that time. Uh, by this, by, by now you have learned basically everything that you need to do. Uh, these, these kind of jobs or these features that are available here. Um, and then there are some optional uh, kind of tasks that can be done. Uh, Basically, how how you should do? I, I will put uh, a note in here. It's now missing, but uh, in addition to these four obligatory ones, you can choose one of these optional ones that you should basically implement into the tool. So one of them is just to create an interactive map showing kind of the uh, matrix cells in Helsinki region. Uh, one of them is, well, another kind of visualization a feature 
and the seventh one if someone wants to kind of uh, do stuff that we ha we are doing now so doing routing network routing basically calculating sorted shortest paths so one of the thing that can be uh, optionally implemented is kind of being able to do sorted path uh, routes uh, using using the techniques that we will learn today but anyway there is a lot of description in the in the site so you can you should go and check check those out uh, and hopefully if you if something is unclear just post a message on slack and I will update the site as well so that those will be covered I guess there might be some uh, some steps that might be unclear here as well as usual uh, yeah you have a question yeah should the command block like uh, a program where you debate the on the command line or that's that came to that, yeah so so how the tool is used uh, that's up to you so basically all that matters is that and we come to here documenting your work so it's so this is kind of your personal project now and and you can basically there are some kind of requirements that the tool should do but but you can do all the decisions how the tool works and how it should be used so it, it can be like like you said a kind of command line uh, tool that takes commands from from the command prompt or you can do it in a manner that you basically have a script with a kind of explanation that okay there are these kind of functions and you use use these functions like this so the main uh, kind of the most important thing when when doing the work and how you implement it is that you document and you explain for the user so I will be basically the user so I should know how I use this it doesn't matter is it uh, how it is implemented but I should just know that okay these are this is how it's done and you should also kind of give examples how it is used so kind of create these tests that uh, that kind of shows that actually this this tool will work and the good documentation is really the key so I will give uh, a lot of points of out of the if you document your work well so you should uh, kind of I recommend really that you use functions to do things as those are kind of in programming those are the tools and those are the good practices uh, how programming should be done because it makes life much easier and debugging and, and it's kind of reduces the repetition in your code so that's how you should do so you should use function and you should also kind of add those doc strings to the functions explaining how they are uh, working and, and so on so um, yeah so in addition to kind of documenting your code well you should have this kind of uh, generic more generic uh, documentation in the github repository basically explaining what does your code do uh, and then basically some as I said some examples uh, what kind of functions are available uh, in the tool so describing those shortly uh, and basically what parameters your functions have uh, it's enough that you basically uh, in your doc strings uh, describe the parameters because that's the best, best place to put them uh, you can also put them in, in, in the main documentation of the tool but it's not necessary yeah uh, some tips commit your work frequently test it frequently I guess you have learned uh, already by by now that kind of making small changes testing that's the way forward because uh, if you write 500 lines of code and then press the first time run it gets really confusing and really really difficult to actually uh, understand where things go wrong so 
really that is highly recommended that you kind of do step by step function by function and test them while you while you proceed so that's how you get things done and not get stuck so easily uh, there will be hints uh, so there is a separate hints page uh, in here however I kind of unless there comes something really uh, problematic related to some working some kind of package related or something I won't put any hints because this is kind of the point where you should show me what you have learned during this fall uh, I think every one of you have learned quite a lot and it has been really nice to nice to see that see that again so really really good work already by now uh, there are some best practices uh, included uh, kind of well telling a little bit of well uh, giving you hints how to do things so there is actually quite a nice article by uh, Wilson and, and others uh, Wilson is uh, kind of one of the key persons in this software carpentry project which is basically uh, one of the pioneers of open education in, in terms of uh, programming so I recommend maybe going through the article but there are basically few few of these kind of important messages that they give in the article that I recommend you to follow so write programs for people not computers let the computer do the work so use functions use loops and so on not do not try to write as less code as you can that's kind of the uh, key thing uh, well this I mentioned already make incremental changes so piece by piece don't repeat yourself plan for mistakes well that we haven't covered too much we had a one lecture in the first period kind of discussing about these so using assertions and try and exceptions and so on uh, document design uh, and purpose not document design and purpose not mechanics collaborate uh, for sure I don't know how much you have collaborated this far but for sure and and I highly recommend if someone of you knows the kind of what is wrong so please help help each other out that's that's kind of one of the nicest things in, in programming to be able to collaborate and, and discuss about things so that's it uh, yeah there are the other possibility uh, still is the possibility to do your own project so basically if you have an idea uh, of what you would like to do as an own project send me send me a description of of what you would like to do and then we will see see that is that okay and and, and so on uh, so that's one possibility as well how the kind of final assignment starts is that in a similar manner as every other lecture that we have had so there is a github classroom so you should accept this classroom and then there will be a private repository for you and and basically you can you can then uh, start writing your code there also upload your code regularly to the github repository i don't want you to be end up in a situation where you have been written two weeks and sweated sweated with the code and then your computer dies and then that's quite nasty so kind of github and, and version control is your friend in a way that it actually it's a safe place for your code and as well if if you are stuck really stuck with something we can we can go and check your code and maybe give some hints how to how to proceed so that's about about it um, so yeah so I hope you kind of 
take this final assignment as as I said kind of your own own little uh, project that you can kind of you have all the all the kind of uh, well uh, all the responsibility and all the all the possibilities to do it as you wish so so kind of try to take it that way uh, there might be quite a lot of of work with it but I think you have already done so much of these things that that it that are required that it should be fairly straightforward to do the main idea of the whole course was to kind of just give you an introduction of programming not to uh, and and kind of show different uh, different techniques how we can do to uh, GIS and, and kind of hopefully done it in an enjoyable way uh, so for for me and uh, hopefully for you as well it's not about the grade that you want to get from from the course but the actual things that you you learn learn have learned from from the course that are useful yeah uh, do you have any questions about the final assignment I guess they might raise up when you kind of start reading it more carefully but but if you have questions about the assignment please post them on on slack actually I will create a new channel for the final assignment as that is actually missing missing from there so I will put that uh, in place and then you can post your questions there and you can also send private messages if if, if you will and if you think that is uh, you like that better okay